doing some of the uh, damp repair work on the uh, on the instrument. And this is this is not at all not at all unusual. That is uh, that is pretty bad though. You know how something like that happened. I think most of what we see um, is it just students are in a hurry and don't put them away properly. Well, let's let's see how you get those dents out. I think that's really cool. See that we've already begun to make yeah. some progress in getting the uh, getting the bell back up and in shape. That's incredible. You know, I mean, what about these little divots here? Because that seems like a little more tool like that's going to work. A little more detailed anvil such as this. Okay. And then use a use a plastic or a metal hammer and tap the dent out from the okay. other side. Okay. Against this surface, okay. the various size of of uh, of elliptical shape dent balls that we can use in the interior of an instrument. Okay, and then the huge magnet pulls it out. Kind of burnishes it out. Okay, so you're, you're rolling it, rolling rolling it on it. the inside and it's yep. creating tension and it's flattening out the dent. It's very, very interesting. We use uh, ultrasonic technology okay. to do to do cleaning. That's pretty new though, isn't it? Didn't, didn't you use that probably? It's relatively, like that it's relatively new in our industry. We used to chemical soak instruments for a long period of time in mm -hmm. a, a mild acid type solution. Okay. And now with the ultrasonic technology, what we've been able to do is cut down our time that the instrument is in, in the solution, okay. but do a more thorough job in removing interior buildup. Okay. Obviously when when a, when a player plays an instrument over a long period of time, mm -hmm. the stuff that we blow through our horns builds up uh, on the inside surfaces. What kind of stuff is that? Not a carry it's, or anything? It's whatever comes out of our mouth. <laughs> probably it. I mean, probably peanut butter jelly yeah. sandwich residue. <laughs> you know. Good thing you've never had a clean animal after uh, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the, uh, um, you know, the, resi the residue really looks like a kind of a white calcium kind of deposit after okay. it after it sort of settles and dries, but what we want to do is, is get it out of there in a safe way that we don't damage the tubing of the instrument, we okay. don't damage the finish, mm -hmm. etc. In this case, we're going to use the ultrasonic the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, there is a mild acid solution that is used here, but it's much milder than we than we used to have to okay. use. It's very, very it's safe. Kind of a D -limer, it's kind of a D-limer, then. Kind of a D-limer, exactly. It's exactly. like that stuff they sell you to clean your coffee pot with somewhat. Somewhat similar. Somewhat, yes. okay. Now, the neat thing about the ultrasonics is there is a chemical action, but there's also kind of a scrubbing action okay. that occurs as the sound waves go through the go through the liquid. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just drop this instrument in the liquid. Sorry about that. That's all right. I'm and used I'm to gonna it. Hit the, right. uh, and it's about a uh, it's about a three minute cycle that the instrument uh, that the instrument goes through. You can see actually see the cloudiness yeah. coming out of that one tube. Wow! Can That's you see that, George? Uh, you got it. See that? It's like a oh, it's like a haze like a, right there. Like a haze or a cloud yeah. coming out of the instrument. That is that is uh, months of dried saliva. Pretty much. Pretty much coming out yeah. of that thing. Yeah. That's kind of gross in a way. It is kind of gross in a way, but also kind of cool that we can do a, a real professional job of cleaning, get the instrument, you know, in much better. Wow. In much better condition. Really interesting. Really interesting. You could probably clean dentures in this thing too you if could, you had you could to. Clean lots of stuff. Absolutely. We also will do the small parts. Uh huh. Uh, as part of the same process, they'll be dropped in. And, and run in very much the same way. All right. And considering that our cycle, say our cycle was finished here, we'll pull it. And, and you really can't see a lot of exterior difference on the instrument. Right. But just seeing what came out of it, you know, in that little bit of a cloud of stuff, and then we'll move to a, to a rinse. 